Where's Andrew Tate? Like seriously, two years ago you couldn't get away from the guy and now he seems like a father that went on a milk run because he abandoned us. So where is this guy? Why is he so much less popular now? And is he the one true Skibdi Sigma Rizzler from Ohio? Uh, oh, okay, I'll stop, that, that was pretty cringe. I will start out with Andrew's prison release and go up all the way to the modern day. So together, let's find out what Andrew Tate has really been up to. On March 31st, 2023, Andrew Tate was released from Romanian prison and for many, this would be the last time they would hear from Andrew Tate. A at least for the most part. As it felt like after this prison release, all of the TikTok and YouTube shorts edits faded away and he was just talked about less in general. But also, it took him two and a half months before posting any original content after his release. And this crazy hunch I have that Andrew Tate is much less popular, it's reinforced by Google Trends. As you can see, two weeks after his prison release, there was an 80% reduction in search results for Andrew Tate. But getting back to his eventual comeback though, on June 14th of 2023, Andrew would air his first stream back from prison and the day after would air his massively popular interview with Patrick Bet David. Since Andrew was banned from most platforms, he had to upload his content to Rumble, which is like a much less popular version of YouTube. But despite this, according to our good friend Google Trends, his popularity would spike regardless and for a time it even looked as if he would regain all of his momentum again. But not long after, this spike would flatten and his resurgence would be a failure. During the remainder of 2023, he would continue going on various YouTube channels and shows while keeping up with his emergency meetings. He would also continue to promote his online education platform of Hustles University, which in August of 2023 enrolled over 200,000 students. Make sure to remember that figure, it will be important later on. But what I'm trying to say is that for the most part, it was the same old Tate playbook with little change in his strategy. This is why I believe Andrew has plummeted to his lowest numbers since his initial rise to fame back in the summer of 2022. But his drop in relevance wasn't the worst thing facing him, as 2024 so far has been a very turbulent year for him in terms of his freedom. Since Andrew's release from prison, he and his brother have yet to gain their full freedom back because of the ongoing legal battles that they are facing. And despite becoming free from house arrest in August of 2023, they still couldn't leave the country of Romania as they were awaiting a trial for Andrew's human trafficking case. Fast forward to April 2024, and now a Romanian judge says that the courts can start prosecuting Andrew Tate on the counts of his human trafficking case. It all started to seem as if Andrew's freedom was about to be taken away like it was last year. Especially because a month before, Andrew was nearly extradited back to the UK, but surprisingly nothing really happened, and actually a couple months later in July, Andrew was free to leave the country as long as he stayed in the EU. That's like taking a banana away from a monkey just to give up banana bread. But it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows, as only a month and a half after Andrew gained his ability to leave the country, he was once again put on the house arrest, which he is still serving in the present. Wow, all this drama makes for a better series than Twilight, but what did Andrew even do allegedly? To put it simply, he has been facing many different legal battles from various different cases. For example, when he almost got extradited by the UK, it was because of multiple accusations of rape around 10 years ago in 2014. But in Romania, the charges were of actual trafficking and pimping. So far, no concrete evidence has actually been attributed to Andrew or his brother Tristan, but there are still many accusations to work through and the legal battles are far from over. I believe in a couple days, Andrew's house arrest expires, so it'll be interesting to see if they renew it or if they just let Andrew walk free. As if he gains his freedom back, then it could be a sign that his legal battles may soon be coming to a close. But regardless, this is a good segue into the... In the present, Andrew's massive online empire is crumbling, or at the very least, it's a shell of its former self, whether Andrew would like to admit it or not. Remember how I told you to recall the students enrolled in Husser's university? Well, in the present, his university only holds 110,000 students, or about half of what it was a year ago. Which, don't get me wrong, is not bad at all. But still, for the most famous man on the planet, which he still claims he is, that is a 50% reduction in overall enrollment. 
Also, remember when Andrew Tate's interviews used to be a massive thing and would easily garner tens of millions of views per interview? Well, now most of the interviews he does will struggle to push even a million views. Combine this with the fact that his crowning achievement, which was dominating the short space on TikTok and YouTube, is just not a factor anymore, and it's clear to anyone that his marketing strategy isn't working like it used to, and his popularity has subsided. These days you can see Andrew Tate tweeting about how the Matrix is out to get him, Hustlers University, and his cryptocurrency, which, which may or may not be a scam. He can't do much else as he is still under house arrest, but rest assured, even if he gets his freedom, he will probably continue posting controversial things on the internet, as that's his brand at this point. So hopefully this video has answered where Andrew Tate has been for like the past year and a half. Alright, that's all.